Hello, Dr. Eric Linquist here with the Sauna Minutes, and we're taking a look at a cat liver. Now, this cat had a very high bilirubin and alk phos. Remember, alk and phosphates has a very short half-life in cats, so when you have an alk phos drive going on, um, really take a look at that liver because there's something clinical. Uh, in this case, the bilirubin is off the roof, and I wanted to show you how to how to decipher through these sort of cases. This is a liver. The depth is a little short, but you can see the heterogeneous changes throughout the liver, which cats don't typically do nodules well in their liver. And then dogs can get nodular hyperplasia all the time. Cats have to live to be pretty old to get nodular hyperplasia and have benign changes in my experience. This is a nine-year-old cat, and you can see these heterogeneous nodular changes. That's probably not going to be anything good. And then you have all these extra tubes going on and what are these well if you put color flow over these it would be color flow negative these are the low bar biliary ducts that are dilated and it's it's hallmark of post hepatic obstruction so when you have nodular hepatic changes here and post hepatic obstruction and free fluid as well there's a lot of badness going on here so take a look at these dilations going on and as we move forward, the gallbladder is dilated, and then you have this biliary mass sitting in this area as well. You know, this is, and you can see that this biliary mass, typically carcinoma, is isoechoic to the liver. So when I see these sort of nodules here and see this sort of scenario, this is a typical biliary carcinoma with post-hepatic obstruction and, and metastatic changes. And you'll get some free fluid between the liver lobes like we have here. And you can see all of this dilation here. So we know that this dilation is leading to a primary mass down at the duodenal papilla. So obviously too many tubes for one cat and a lot of nodules and a lot of badness. But uh, this is not what you want to see when you have a bilirubin elevation, alkphos elevation in a cat. You're hoping for lipidosis. If that's the case, because other things like this, like biliary carcinoma and post-hepatic obstruction and a bunch of extra tubes is not a good thing. You can see another mass right here, right? This is a, uh, in between the cystic duct and common bile duct. So multicentric badness in the biliary tree here in this poor cat. But uh, it's important to know how to read through it. And just know that you have all of these tubes going on. There has to be something distal obstructing it. And in this case, it's getting obstructed in multiple areas. But anyway, I hope you're enjoying the sauna minutes and always visit us at saunapath.com. We'd love to hear from you and love to hear your feedback. Whatever we can do to help, we're here, we're here for you. So uh, extensive team to support your clinical sonography needs. Take care and have a great day.